If you need more website visitors scheduling calls so you can turn them from a lead to a customer, then this video is for you. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through a step-by-step -step guide to turn someone from a visitor to a lead to a customer, all by scheduling a call with you. Now, we've been doing this for our business, Automation Links, for the last nine years. Somebody comes to our website, we have them fill out some sort of form, and then invite them to schedule a call so we can build a relationship and see if we're a good fit. Now, you know how this goes. Sometimes people don't wanna just schedule a call. They wanna fill out a form first or learn more about you before they commit to scheduling that call. And that's good for you because you don't want people to miss appointments, no show you, or cancel because you're busy. So you also need to pre-qualify them. And we've been setting up the appointment funnel for years, helping business owners go from visitors to their site, getting them to become a lead, somebody that's pre-qualified, and then turning them into a scheduled call where you know they're gonna show up and they're gonna be a good customer. And you'll be able to see from right here on the landing page if they're a good customer or not, so you can cancel that appointment if they're not. So depending on your type of business, do you want people filling out a form, giving you more information about themselves, building some sort of relationship with them, and then having them schedule a call? Or do you want somebody just scheduling a call and no showing you? And that's what I wanna walk you through today. So here we go. How it starts is a lot of us focus right here on the traffic. If you're a business owner or entrepreneur or coach, you're posting, you're trying to get traffic, you think marketing is the way to go. But if you don't have your system in place before you do the marketing, you're going to waste a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of ad spend trying to get those people to come to your site and then no one schedules. And that's where you need to set up some sort of landing page and questionnaire form to get them to actually fill out some sort of form before they schedule. It's like a two-step email opt-in process, which is totally fine. Because if somebody's not willing to go through two steps to work with you, they're not going to be a good customer or they probably are going to no-show you on that call anyways. So what we want to do is set up a landing page with a questionnaire form. We're going to ask them name, email, and phone, of course. But then what we want to do is set up three multiple choice questions. Those questions are going to be key because they need to be exactly what they're looking for. So if somebody is looking for something about your product or your service that you offer, you need to give them different options in that questionnaire. The easiest ones to cover are something like health and fitness. Are you trying to lose weight? So then a questionnaire form could be, do you struggle with eating? Do you struggle with workouts? Do you struggle with time? Do you struggle with anxiety? And let them choose. Let them give you more information. Now the answer is the three. You don't want to do more than three because they don't know you yet. They don't want to give you too much information. So you want to be very vague. We work with custom ring designers and their questions are, do you already have a ring in mind? Do you already have something in your head? And it's a simple yes or no answer. So that's all they have to do is say yes or no. Do you have a budget under 5,000 or over 5,000? Let them choose. What that's going to do is pre-qualify them. And that's really the key in your marketing funnel is pre-qualifying people, getting a little bit more information, but not making it too hard. I see this mistake a lot. Somebody adds a huge form that somebody has to fill out and they just don't want to. But then they also just have a name and email and then you don't know anything about them. So there's that happy medium you want to cover there. About three questions, multiple choice or drop downs. From there, as soon as they fill out the questionnaire, now it's your chance to let them schedule. Let them schedule on your Calendly link, your HubSpot scheduler, or whatever you use immediately after they fill out the questionnaire. Make it easy. Remember, you've already asked them for their name and email and three other questions, so you don't want to ask them any additional questions here. Now, of course, they're going to have to give you their name and email again, but that's totally fine because if they're really interested, they'll do it. If they're not, they're going to leave and you're going to never see them again. See ya. But the goal is to let them schedule immediately. So fill out the questionnaire so we can learn more about you. Schedule a call that fits well for you. And then from there, it's time to follow up. And that's where emails come in. Whether they schedule or not, let's just assume they don't schedule right away. We want to still send them an email from that questionnaire. Hey, thank you so much for filling up the form. It's great to hear about you. 
Here's some other ways I can help. And here's the most important part for you. In that email, remind them to schedule. A lot of people are busy. They forget, they get distracted. So they might have filled out the questionnaire, but they might not have scheduled. So send them the link to your scheduler to remind them to schedule so they can plan it. A lot of people might need to work with their business owner, so have their business owner join the call. So they need to wait, but then if they lose your schedule link, they'll never come back and schedule. So you wanna make sure you add that scheduler link right in that very first email to get them to come back and schedule. That's really key. I see about 50-50, 50% do, 50% don't. Whether they schedule or not, make sure you get that email in. Now remember, this is somebody new coming from your marketing. So you need to build a relationship with them. They don't know everything about you. So email too, I like to tell them about other services and other ways you can help. Maybe they came in from Facebook, they were interested, and then they figured maybe this product isn't best for me, I'm looking for a different solution. That's where email two comes in, give them your other solutions, and then remind them to come back and schedule. That's the key. And then email number three, is really key because you want to tell them about other people you've helped just like them. Make them excited. Try to motivate them. Hey, I've worked with someone just like you. They got these great results. You know, I'd love to work with you and help you get these same results. And then again, remind them to come back and schedule. Now the fun part, the follow-up. Now you got the base. You've got the basic system in there. That's what's going to bring you from a 1% conversion rate to a 15 to 30% conversion rate and help you get more book calls, which you want. But if you really wanna add some fuel to the fire, you can start some retargeting ads where you continue following up, not just on email and through your scheduled calls, but now once they fill out your questionnaire or see you and learn about you, you can see a perfect Google ad to redirect them back to the schedule. So now they're seeing your email and a Google ad reminding them to schedule. Now, why would you spend so much time and effort on this marketing just to lose somebody forever? You put all your time, you put your effort, you spend money on ads, try to get all these people to your pages to schedule, and you're just going to lose them and say, see, I'll never see you again. That's where you really need to put your main focus, not on bringing new customers in, but on following up with the customers you already have. Because what we find is a lot of people already have enough visitors. Even if you have 100 visitors, that's enough. Because if you're only getting a 1% conversion rate on those 100, you're only going to get one customer. But if you bring that up to a 7% conversion rate, now you've got seven customers with still 100 visitors. Because you're doing YouTube retargeting ads. You're reminding them about you on Facebook and Instagram. And retargeting, reminding, and building that audience. So what are you waiting for? Set up a simple automation appointment funnel to get you higher conversion rates. That way you don't need more traffic. You don't need to spend more on ads. You can capture the people you already have. That will build a better experience and brand authority with your ideal customers by pre-qualify them, reminding them, and retargeting them so they don't forget about you. Those are your best leads. Somebody that's seen you over seven times are more likely to become a customer than somebody that's only seen you once. So if this video brought you any value, it'd be awesome to hear about you. Comment your website link in the comments below so I can check you out. And of course, it'd be really great if you subscribed where I continue helping you with these marketing funnels to help you get more customers by automating your marketing. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.